Hey everyone, welcome to today's video. My name is Julie and what I'm doing is I am obviously making me some coffee. So I got on here to do a voiceover because throughout this video there was not a lot of me talking and I know that most of my viewers just do not like listening to the music the whole video. So I wanted to get on here and just kind of tell you what we're doing. First of all we're having some coffee and then I'm going to head into TJ Maxx and do a little shopping around for some things for my vanity. I've recently moved an antique vanity into my bedroom and there's just a few items that I need for it but y'all all know that while you're at TJ Maxx you're gonna just kind of stroll around and look around and see what they might have out new on the shelves so that's what I'm doing here I spotted this little touch lamp and I was extremely impressed with this because I've been looking for a little touch lamp like this for quite a while they finally got a lot of their fall decor out here at our local TJ Maxx it took them forever so I did want to take a minute and just kind of really focus in and look at a lot of the fall decor so that's what I'll be showing y'all here on this day then we're going to go back home I'm going to show you everything that I got and then I'm going to give you a little update my husband finished installing the thresholds on the couple of doorways that we needed to do he actually filmed that all on his own that day y'all I was not even home and he filmed that for me to add into this video so everybody give Larry a thumbs up for helping me film out a little bit that was awesome so yeah and then I'm going to show y'all some things that I just I pulled a bunch of stuff out of my guest bathroom I decluttered a bunch of stuff and then I'm going to show y'all how I've decorated our guest bathroom for the fall season so let's finish doing some shopping here and then we'll go back to the house and do a few more things together I've been seeing these also these little rechargeable um, this is a portable LED fluted touch lamp you saw the clips of the other ones that I saw in there and I just did not like them as well and plus I like that this one had the little round rounded bottom there and so what you do is you just charge it it's a touch lamp and it's also um, if I can get to it yeah you just recharge it you charge the lamp, plug the included yes, USB excuse me, cable into any powered USB port, which we have several of those. Most people do. Um, but yeah, there's the cord right there. So it is rechargeable. So I don't have to worry about having cords or nothing like that for this. I'm excited to get this charged up. This is so stinking cute and it's skinny. I like to have night lights in the bathrooms at night. And I love also if you have especially kids and you want a little light in your bathroom you can put a little lamp in there without having to worry about anything being plugged in you know so should there be an an accident of some sort you know with the electrical lamp you won't have to worry about that with this so definitely check your TJ Maxx if you are looking for something similar to this so I will have it charged up and running before this video is over so that I can show y'all what it looks like super excited about that and then the whole reason that I went in to either the Bell's outlet or um, TJ Maxx was to find me a mirror to put at the vanity like to keep in a drawer so that when I am putting on my especially my eye makeup because it's hard for me to see oh, that was Elizabeth sneezing um, it's hard for me to see to put my eye makeup on without my glasses on so this kind of helps me do that 
and I'm trying to just show y'all at an angle. This is the 10 times magnification, so it really helps me, and it's just white. I did have a green one that I bought at the Berg, I mean the Bells outlet, but I um, I ended up taking it back. It was $10, but it was like a really bright green color, and I was just going to keep it in the drawer anyway, but when I found that one for only a couple dollars more, I just took on my way home, I just ran by and took the other one back right away because I know if I wouldn't have done it right then, I would have never took it back. And then also because I am learning on this whole vanity adventure um, that I needed a brush at the vanity and then I need a brush in my bathroom. So I have one wet brush right now that I keep in the bathroom, of course, because that's where I've primarily been fixing my hair. Um, but it is it is in need to uh, be replaced like it needs to go in the trash honestly it is so used so i picked up just a couple of these at tj maxx they're only 4.99 a piece and y'all i used to pay like i can't even tell you how much i used to pay for these back when my girls were little because these were so popular but I, and i still love them like they are the best brush in my opinion to get tangles out and I have very thin fine hair so my hair gets tangly very easy but anyway the reason I got two is because I want to replace the one in my bathroom and then I'm going to keep one at the vanity and call that lazy if you want but that going back and forth and sitting at your vanity and pulling out the drawer and you're like oh well the brush is in the bathroom let me get up and go to the bathroom to get that brush it is worth five dollars to me to not have to do that so I got two of those for the vanity. And the only other thing that I got, oh wait, no, I got two more things. So I got this for my kitchen. And honestly, I blame Kelsey for this, my daughter, my middle daughter. She got some of these and I love them. I love the colors of these. They were only $4.99 and they are just little trivets to put, you know, hot things on when you bring it out of the oven or off the stove. And I've talked about this before. We serve a lot of food up here. And so I thought, well, these are just gorgeous. I use a lot of these little cork boardy kind of ones here from Ikea. And I do love them, but I really like these, especially for fall, because I think that I could probably use these and decorate with them during the fall. And then after fall, I'll just throw them in this kitchen drawer and uh, use them, you know, as a hot pad or whatever. So $4.99 for those. So I love those. And then the only other thing that I picked up is this adorable little pumpkin. Did not need it, but I thought that I could put this with this little lamp. It's kind of got just that same gold hue to it. And so I thought, well, that is so cute. And I love this color um, right here for the fall. It's just not too much. And I think it'll look really cute. It'll fit into my decor really well just anywhere because here's a little arrangement that I have even in my kitchen and it goes really well with that and the copper pot. So if I needed to put it in the kitchen or something, I could. So yeah, that is my very small DJ Maxx haul. I think it's fun to show other people, you know, just things like this that you get because sometimes that is where I find some of the neatest little things. And I'm telling you that I have looked all over for some of these little touch lamps and I just happened to I just happened on one today at TJ Maxx so that's why I wanted to kind of I like to share things too just to show you where I got mine and you might be able to go out and get you one too so yep there's my haul
Okay, so I'm just showing you a clip here of everything that I pulled out of the corner cabinet in our guest bathroom so that I can go through all of this, declutter it, do away with some of these ba baskets, excuse me, and some of these little bins because I just did not need all of them in there. So like I said, here's the cabinet that I pulled everything out of and just a little overview of some of it sitting all around in my bathroom. I don't think I got an after clip. Um, of everything that I decluttered from here, but I promise you that I got rid of a lot of stuff. Here is a set of towels that I picked up at Marshall's um, probably a month or so ago that I knew I wanted to use in this bathroom for the fall. They were $12.99, I believe it was a three pack, and they are super, super cute, so I love these. Okay, so here's just a quick look. This is really nothing aesthetic, but this is just showing you how I kind of got everything back in there. This is a comforter and a sheet set and an extra pillow that goes to our queen size air mattress. Sometimes if we have a lot of teenagers spending the night or kids, we will pop up that queen size air mattress as well and have it. And then just down here is just some more wash rags, different things like that. Got this all cleaned out and organized just a real quick look at that because like i said it's nothing really beautiful okay, i know that not everybody decorates their bathrooms for the different seasons but i usually do decorate mine for fall and christmas and then like spring and summer which kind of last all year long decor but i have a tablecloth up here this green and white gingham tablecloth that i use as a shower curtain. I love the color and I'll probably leave this up through Christmas again just because I like the colors on it. So you don't have to just look for fabric shower curtains in the bathroom aisle. Go to the thrift store and find you a big enough tablecloth and then just use the, I get the plastic liner to put behind them. So there you go. There's that. And over here I just have this sign that I got at Hobby Lobby that says life starts all over again when it gets crisp in the fall. I love that. And I just brought one of my thrifted pictures with some fall florals in it and put it on the back of the toilet. This is a thrifted bathtub tray. And I like how that looks over there, the colors, you know, the brown against the white. And plus we do use it. Here's the towel that I showed y'all. I got it Marshalls. My thrifted shelf. My thrifted little crock here with just some dried florals in it. And a lot of times we will like this to come take a bath or if company's coming especially it smells so good little set here i got at hobby lobby anytime i show this bathroom people ask me where i got those i got those at hobby lobby i believe you can still get them there so i have an old thrifted radio here that does not work i just use it strictly for decor in one of these cubbies and then for the fall i brought in a lot of my little glass bottles put them in a thrifted basket the bottles are all thrifted too and just have a couple there sitting on the side so on both sides of the sink here in the bathroom, I took the cabinet doors off and did an open shelving concept here just with the baskets. And I do keep things in these baskets. And the one in the very top, it's either my iron or my steamer. And on the other side is the other one as well. And then in one of these right here, I keep a bunch of extra toothbrushes, toothpaste, just anything that has to do with stuff like that. In case anyone comes over and spends the night and forgets their toothbrush or whatever, we have lots of extras. And then up here, I just have more baskets holding things. I did have that one at the end of the hall, but I brought it in here. It's holding doilies and different little napkins, um, decorative things like that. Hot basket, it's either, I can't remember which one, it's holding my iron or the steamer. And then in this basket right here, we have um, a lot of things that we will use if we travel. So like little travel size things that we want to put in our suitcases or our makeup bags. Just different things like different things like that, excuse me, that have to do with traveling. This is another thrifted piece. I've had this for a really long time. And I keep extra things in here like Q-tips and um, floss and different stuff like that. And here I just keep some Epsom salt and just an empty little basket <laughs> and then on the counters it's just more you know little decor pieces just to kind of make it look really fall in here and you know the season that we're in i love to decorate little spots like this especially because this is the bathroom that everybody uses a little basket here with one of these little smell goody things in there so it smells like pumpkin spice when you walk in here a pumpkin from hobby lobby this piece right here is thrifted and we use that for, again, more Q-tips, different things like that. 
there's one of those little hot pad things there from TJ Maxx. I thought the colors went really good in here. And then there's another one of those pumpkins I got at Hobby Lobby with the little primitive light inside. Our decorative pieces here from Hobby Lobby. This is thrifted. This is Hobby Lobby. The shelf is thrifted. This is thrifted. And this is thrifted. The dried florals are from Hobby Lobby. I got the little pumpkin soap. I think I might have my brightness turned up too much. Let me turn it down a little bit. Got this from Marshalls. I like to have a fun little seasonal soap in here. And then over here on this side, I kind of moved some things around. I used to have that little piece right there over here, but because I did want to put that little touch lamp down there, I decided to move a few things around. So I just moved this little thrifted piece here with these little brushes on it right there and then this beautiful little thrifted picture that i have here this is one of my favorite little pictures i don't know why i just love the colors in it and that stuff is just right above this thrifted basket that i kind of turned into an oral hygiene i guess area for elizabeth so this just kind of corrals all of her stuff all of her toothbrushes and stuff are back there the rent stuff that she likes little cups this holds her floss in this little thing right here and I just put a piece of fabric on the bottom. And then here is that little touch lamp. This is so pretty at night, like when you don't have the big light on and you just want to come in here and take an Epsom salt bath or something. It looks really pretty. Back there in the corner, I have a thrifted tin that we keep some long, they're like pre-cut flossers the long strings instead of the little picks so we just keep those in that back there and then she likes to use this mirror a lot that i thrifted she can't really see this mirror really good so this helps her be able to see that and back over here is where she hangs her towels i hung this um, old door that i got at a garage sale just kind of layered it on that wall to give you know different texture dimension whatever and then i hung these little this little acorn, acorns, acorns, acorns up here. And I think that's super cute. But yeah, this is just our little guest bathroom for the fall season. All decorated really cute. It's fun to just walk by here and show you kind of what it looks like to me during the day. I want to give y'all an update on this little light. Okay. So the only thing about this little light that I really do not care for is that it does not hold a charge so this light can stay on continuously i tested it for about four hours before you have to charge it again <laughs> so i do not like that it does not stay charged up at least eight to ten hours so i cannot leave this on all day long so when it starts to get dark outside is when we will try to come and tap it on um, cause you see it's kind of dark in here without it, but during the day, it's not so bad but during the evening. Um, oh, and it has three different, did I even show you all that? So there's one color and then it has this color and then this color. So it has like three different color tones to it, which I kind of like the first one because it's more of a soft white or warm white, I guess. So I am having to charge it at about every couple of days, which can kind of be a pain. So just, you know, keep that in mind if you get one or you think you might want to get one. Here's one last little look just from the door of our guest bathroom, all decorated and decked out for fall. So thank y'all so much for hanging out with me today. I know that we did a lot of random little things, but that's just life around here. Sometimes I'm just doing a lot of different little things and I'm just bringing y'all along for the journey. We hope y'all have a wonderful evening. We love y'all and I'll see you back here tomorrow for I have no idea what, but I will see you back here tomorrow with a brand new video. 